Hi, I'm Bryce Merkel Sasaki, and I'm here at Graph Connect Europe in London with Axel Morgner, uh, the co founder of Structure. So, Axel, talk to me what is Structure for people who might not be familiar with it? Yeah, that's an interesting question. People, it's always the first question people are asking us. Um, so, uh, we tend to say that Structure is a graph application platform, uh, it is uh, perfect for building um, graphy or uh, applications of the graph data model, um, um, web applications and mobile applications in a kind of integrated environment. So we have uh, components like, like a data modeling tool called Schema Editor. We have an integrated, um, or Structure has an integrated REST API which is automatically configured based on the, the, the custom schema uh, model. And the third important component is the, the application builder or page builder so where you can, can, can create um, interactive uh, web pages or connect them to pe uh, web applications. Uh, pretty much like you can create uh, websites in a content management system. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And then um, why did you guys choose to use Neo4j as you were building that? Like, what made it stand out? Yeah, so yeah, the, the story is uh, about six years ago. Um, I just, just wanted to create a new kind of content management system. That, that was the first idea or the first use case I had in mind. Um, and then I was looking for uh, a database which would be a good fit or uh, at least a better fit than, than Oracle, which was the database um, my former company was building a kind of enterprise content management system on. Um, then I looked around and uh, so one requirement was to uh, was that it should be embeddable uh, in, in a Java application mm -hmm. and there was Neo4j that, that was really uh, standing out and it was one of the um, NoSQL databases which was already mature at that time so a little bit on a, at the beginning of the, the NoSQL hype and um, so for technical reasons it was it was a graph database with a data model which is a perfect fit for a hierarchical data which you have a lot of in, in content in the content management context or pages uh, pages or uh, document hierarchies or folder hierarchies organizational hierarchies and so on all these are trees and trees of course are graphs mm -hmm. so from a conceptual and technical uh, point Neo4j was a perfect fit and I think the one of the um, maybe most important thing was the community. So I, I just um, uh, had the, uh, the chance and luck to, to, to listen to a talk uh, um, by Peter Neubauer in, in Frankfurt. Mm -hmm. And after the talk, the talk was, was fantastic. And after the talk, he just invited all the people. Uh, and, and over beer, we had some chat. And I thought if everyone in this community is as welcoming and, and, and friendly and open as Peter is, then it must be a good community, and it turned out it, it wasn't exactly as I experienced that in in, at the, in the first uh, encounter. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. And then um, can you talk to me about how structure is used for enterprise data management um, and use cases that are like that? Yeah, it's, it's interesting. Uh, as I said, first it was just content management. Um, depending on how broad you interpret the term content. Content could also be data, any data, um, more or less structured. Mm -hmm. So it turned out that um, while creating this first, uh, first version of the content management system, we discovered that you can use a graph database or gra the graph model for, for uh, uh, not only uh, storing uh, content-related uh, hierarchies, but you could also uh, extend that um, to, to store and manage arbitrary data because the data model, uh, the graph data model is so uh, uh, flexible and versatile. So it was just a natural um, evolution in our product development that we um, extended the, the, the narrow scope of a content management system to any kind of structured and unstructured data. So this is uh, what finally led us to the, the area of enterprise data management because we're really addressing problems and issues uh, large companies have. And so they kind of, uh, by just, just um, uh, yeah, telling us their requirements, they kind of pushed us into this direction. But uh, the good thing is we don't have to give up any of these interesting, uh, uh, I don't know, initial thoughts like uh, storing content 
um, because yeah, structure is still open to any kind of data, and this yeah, it's a lot of fun to see um, how we could maybe transform enterprises uh, into into kind of uh, large graph systems. That's really fun. Okay, great. And then, what have been some of the most surprising or interesting things you've seen? Um, you know, in terms of client work or anything else, uh, where you know, structure in Neo4j. I don't know, interesting results, interesting, uh, surprising moments. Surprising moments. I think there were some aha effects, like uh, um, when people, when we've, uh, at, at Schleich, for example, when we, when we um, switched from the old system um, to the new Neo4j and structure-based system, uh, there was some um, expert search, which took a long time uh, before. Uh, because the underlying database was not a graph database, and then people just didn't 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 get that uh, the query or the the response was uh, or the query was already finished. So they thought, okay, what, what happened? So it can't be that the uh, result is already there because before they had to wait 30 seconds or something. That was kind of uh, big fun to see, and uh, another very. Um, and almost any project we do, uh, uh, another very um, interesting experience for us is uh, when, when, when dealing directly, directly with the end users, is they can, in the morning, if, if they have a, a, a new idea for a feature or an improvement of the software, um, they can just um, tell us what they want. We then, of course, have to discuss the implications this change would have on a data model and the user interface and then check and validate. But um, typically, we can implement the change within one day. So at the end of the day or in the afternoon already, they can start testing it. And it's a completely new paradigm uh, for application development in an enterprise because people are not used to getting results as quickly as, uh, as that. So this is really fantastic. Okay, it sounds like it really fits well with the agile development approach. Exactly, then. exactly, exactly. On, a, on each level, on data, uh, data model level, on the like business logic and also on the um, user interface level. Yeah. OK, great. Then anything else you want to add or say? Any closing thoughts? Um, yeah. I have to, to say, or I would like to say thank you uh, to, to Neo, to Neo, to the community, to the Neo uh, technology team, and also for yeah, making it possible to be here as, as a partner and a sponsor. In the meantime, it's just Great fun every time we are at a Graph Connect, and really love to to go to Graph Connect because it's the, the techno technology is, is perfect fit. The community is great, and yeah, just want to say thank you, and I hope uh, to to yeah to grow with the market and the community, and and of course new technology a little bit from a company perspective. So it seems to work out. <laughs> so we're really happy with it. Okay. Well, thank you so much for your time today. It was great talking. Thank you. Thank you, too. Okay.